What's up guys? Hey man, I hope you loving yourself because remember nobody can love you like you love yourself. Hey today, we got a cooking video today. Today we cooking sway, swai, however you pronounce it, I'll pronounce it sway. W-S, W-S-A-Y. Um, today we're gonna fry this sway up and we're gonna bread it, we're gonna deep fry it, and we're gonna get it right. Hey, this is gonna be a good video. I think I got four, four of these fillets. I paid almost $7 for the whole thing. So um, we're gonna get some good fried fish going. Like I said, I know we in tough times, so they think, cause we, we live in tough times, right? We always live in tough times, so we know how to make it through. So I'm giving you these recipes, man. I'm gonna bread it, deep fry it, make it right for you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. If you don't like what it is, hit the dislike button, but hit some type of button, whether you like it or not. And if you have any comments, make sure you leave me a comment, but we're gonna fry these pretty babies up today. We're gonna get them right. And uh, coming up for you right now, so stay tuned. Aha, uh -huh, deep fried fish. Anything you need me to cook, want me to cook, just holler. I can get it together. I'm not a chef, but you know what? I got chef skills and I've been cooking for a long time. See you soon, stay tuned. Deep fried fish, beautiful golden brown and tasty. Ah. Okay, what's up guys? I got my fresh sway, I got it clean and I kinda like mine in pieces. Today I'm gonna cook this in my fry daddy deep fryer. So I'm gonna cook it in my little fry daddy deep fryer that I always use. You can also get that fry daddy deep fryer on Amazon. So, just gonna cut the pieces. They had nice fillets, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half because I, I need them to fit comfortably in my fry daddy. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Like I told you before, got my sway cut up in nice little pieces and stuff. Okay, so right here, I got my flour and cornmeal mix, but I got my little special seasonings. I ain't going to tell you just what that is right now, but you can just season with black pepper, salt, garlic, but um, I might have some seasonings coming out later, so um, I don't want to give all my secrets away, but that's my batter, and we also, we're going to use this today, we're going to use yellow mustard, and you know, you guys might say yellow mustard, but you know what, you're not even going to be able to taste it, you know, you're not going to even be able to taste it, so what we're going to do, let's go ahead and put those in there. Put a little mustard over the top of them. Yellow mustard? How oh, my fish tasting like mustard? I don't even like mustard. Man, you're not even going to taste the mustard on here, trust me. You're not going to even taste it on here. You want my secret recipe? Man, I cook some of the best fish around. Anybody can tell you that. So, we're going to get that mustard in there really good. Work it in there. Let's work it out in there. Yeah. These are just two fillets. The package came with four fillets. I spent like seven dollars. And I got and this right here is two fillets. And that you see how it's better when you cut them in half? You know. Cut them in half. I, I got a video coming. Just look on there. It's um fresh cut french fries. That's what we're gonna have with this today. Fresh cut deep fried french fries. But yeah. So that's all, we're just trying to get it coated, okay? So, once we get it coated, hold on you guys, yeah, once we get it coated, we're gonna just let it, let me get my rack, I love my racks, I love my wire racks, I love my wire racks, I love them, I love them, I love them, so, got the little flour mix, so we're just gonna put that in there like that, look at that, we're gonna coat that, like just like that, you guys. Just coat that up. Right now, you know, I got my grease getting hot. And yeah, we're gonna coat that. I can go and put two at a time in there. Let's go ahead and coat that. I'm gonna fry about four in the first batch. Look at that. Just coat it real good, you know. And like I said, these are simple recipes. And uh, man, you can eat so good at home. There's another one, throw that in there. Coat that. Just let it sit on that wire rack. How about that? Let it sit right there on that wire rack. Okay. Still got plenty left. Ah. 
Yeah, so we're gonna let that sit on that wire rack. I'm gonna change gloves while I'm changing gloves. Hey guys, um, what did you guys do today? Did you get to get your walk in today? Huh? Did you get to get your walk in today? That's that's all I need to know. And if you didn't get it in today, make sure you get it in tomorrow. Man, I'm not perfect. I mess up all the time. And if you haven't started walking with our group yet, hey, tomorrow will be a good day to start or tonight. So, uh, yeah, or tonight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and bring this into the camera a little bit. Oh, yeah. Got that heat, but I'm going to check the temperature on it. Because I want it around, I like it around 375. I know other people do different ways, but let's see if I can get it around that 375. Let's check that before I put my gloves on. I don't want my gloves on while I'm checking the heat and I already got the plastic gloves on, then they be sweating and stuff, so I'm going to make sure I got my heat up to par. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on. Hey guys, when you cooking food, you make sure you wear gloves. People people like to, they more happier and they eat your food faster if they see you using cleanliness. And make sure you continuously wash your hands, wear gloves and stuff. Hmm. Okay, we almost there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get that a little bit. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and put my glove on because it's going to be ready by the time I come back over here for sure. Yeah, guys, but, um, yeah, just remember, man, nobody can love you like you can love yourself. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you how this fish is looking on these racks. I'm going to dip it one more time before I put it in that grease. That grease was about ready. It was probably like four degrees off or something like that. So by the time I dip the fish again, it's going to be ready, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it back in my flour for one more. You can kind of see that on your screen a little bit. Just giving it one more coat. Which I towel blotted it and dried the fish off. You know, um, man, this is some of my favorite fish. If you guys like sway, swai, whatever, however you call it. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. And let me know how you cook yours. And if I can change cooking. Ooh, look at that grease. You see that grease, didn't you? I think you guys like when I do this right here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys like when I do that, don't you? We're going to carry three in there this time. My little daddy fryer is frying up. Yeah, I like that. Let's do a little cleanup while we while we waiting. While we waiting on that, let's do a little cleanup around there. Can we do a little cleanup around there? Can we get a cleanup? I don't know if you guys ever worked fast food or anything like that. I remember when I worked fast food. Man, they always had us cleaning up. They say you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Them people sure they get their money out of us, didn't they? Any of you guys ever work at a fast food restaurant? If you did, which fast food restaurant did you work at? Huh? Which fast food restaurant did you work at? Was it McDonald's? Was it Popeye's? KFC, Taco Bell? Hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? We got to do what we got to do. But yeah, if any of you guys working at a restaurant right now, let me know. What type of manager you got? My manager used to work us to death. I'd be like, man, come on, bro. Got to try to have everything. Try not to clean up. Yeah. So let's go in here. See what we got going on. Make sure we don't have nothing sticking together. We don't want nothing sticking together, you guys. We want this stuff to cook evenly and delicious and good. Man, this is going to be some good, I mean some good golden brown fish. Wow. Yeah. Like I said, guys. Man. Wow. Cooking it in the Presto Fry Daddy Deep Fryer. This thing takes about a quarter oil. That's all. 
It's good. And it's good enough for me because, you know, the key to good food is fresh grease. I think everybody knows that. So everything's cooking good. We're going to let it work, let it work, let it work, let it work. While we're doing that, I'm going to put some paper towel under my... Gonna catch it, but I just like to put that under there. That paper towel just makes it look a little more neater. Cause see, you don't. That's why I love this um, this mesh because, like, you don't want paper towels touching your food. Like a lot of people dry their food off, let their grease soak in paper towel. But the only thing about that, once the paper towel gets so so soggy, guess what? Your fish, chicken, or whatever you're cooking in, that's going to get soggy, too. You know? Yeah, that's going to get soggy, too. And that's what we don't want. We don't want that! Oh, look at that. That's some good stuff, guys. Look at that. Look at that beautiful golden fish. Frying up perfect. That's frying perfect, perfect, perfect! And see how easy that was? That's what I told you guys. Man, I'm giving you all easy recipes. Man, all easy recipes. And, and this is just one type of fish, but you can do this with your shrimp. You can do this with your cod, whatever you like. Do it with it. Move this out of the way a little bit. Ah. I want you guys to see when it hit this rack. I want you guys to see how beautiful it is when they hit this rat. Ooh, look at that. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh, look, a little piece came. Ooh. What, how do you guys like to eat your fish? Leave that in the comment. How do you guys like to, Look how beautiful that is. How do you guys like to eat your fried fish? Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is, guys. We made it. We made it, family. And this is how you're going to make it. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Any, anything that you can suggest. Anything I should have did different. Hey, man, leave it in the comments. Shoot, I don't have no weak feelings. I don't care about that. Yeah, but uh, this week's going to be a beautiful week. Today's going to be a beautiful day. And you got to thank God for waking up because 7,700 people in the United States did not wake up today. But we did. And we're eating this beautiful golden brown fish. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go to my Instagram. It's spelled the same way. Unc Keith. U-N-C-K-E-I-F. Appreciate you guys. Tell me what you think about that nice golden brown sway, swai, whatever y'all call it. Love you guys. See you later, family.